Lifetime Passive Sonar Deployment Tool, RPSDT. The tropical littoral waters have their own challenges and thus the conventional passive sonars are not able to keep pace with the growing complexity in the operational areas in the Indian Ocean region IOR, and the South China Sea. The passive sonar deployment typically presents two critical requirements. Detection of an adversary, evade detection by an adversary. Both these aspects require real-time situational awareness so that the platform can maneuver and position itself when in a battlefield. Real-time passive sonar deployment tool or RPSDT has two major deployment imperatives. Effective detection. The signal to noise ratio SNR is the key parameter to ascertain the detection performance of the sonar at the deployment location. The aim is to have minimal SNR value within the operational area to ensure effective detection. Next is vulnerability assessment. The own acoustic signature propagates outward and is a measure of our vulnerability to detection. Thus, the assessment of the transmission loss across the local channel and its benchmarking against the SNR at the deployment location will provide an effective measure of the vulnerability in real time. Both these imperatives can be prioritized depending on whether it is used in conventional submarines or strategic submarines. The proposed deployment tool can also be used efficiently by the sonar operators even while sitting in the Navy room. Working of RPSDT The real-time passive sonar deployment tool that we have developed has three specific <coughs> characteristics. The first is the spatio-temporal map. We have developed an ambient noise map which has the complete real-time appreciation uh, spatially as well as temporally so that the levels are recorded and are known. So the precise signal to noise ratio can be computed which can give us the uh, sonar performance or the detection range at that particular deployment location. The second aspect is the underwater channel modeling which basically gives us a real-time appreciation of the acoustic propagation at that very moment. So this again gives us how the signal while it propagates in the underwater medium will get modified. So the level of the signal at the receiver can be precisely computed. And the third is the, the most important aspect is the real-time appreciation. So this update is done every 5 to 10 minutes. So there is no lag in terms of our appreciation of the underwater conditions. So we can definitely uh, predict the sonar performance on both aspects. One is its capability to detect an adversary and also the adversary's ability to detect us. Features of RPSDT Time underwater acoustic propagation characterization for effective evaluation of the sonar parameters site-specific sourcing of input parameters to formulate modeling and stimulation algorithms deployment of deep learning algorithms to mitigate errors during offline mode, customize user-specific GUI for seamless usage even on handheld devices. The proposed RPSDT will be an effective tool independent of the onboard sonar that will facilitate effective operational deployment of the platform in any operational area anchored to the ground realities in real time. The unique features of this product is also the customized deployment assessment. The customization here means that the algorithms can dynamically prioritize the detection function or the vulnerability assessment based on the requirement of a conventional submarine where detection of the adversary is a critical requirement or a strategic platform where own vulnerability cannot be compromised.